tell us about the time when you were the most scared in your whole life. I thought about it. I've been scared a lot of times. <laughs> so I got to thinking about one you might be interested in knowing. When the FBI assigned me to Los Angeles, it was right during uh, Bugsy Siegel was setting up Las Vegas and Mickey Cohen was taking over Los Angeles and so forth, and there was a lot of shooting. And Mickey Cohen had had his shoulder blown off and his house, half his house blown down and two bodyguards killed. And so he'd moved into a place where it wasn't fancy at all, kind of an apartment house, but it had nobody in it but his people. And we get, find out that uh, he's involved in an FBI case. And I was assigned to take a microphone, get underneath the house, and plant it uh, down underneath the, the floor of the main room where they all met. And in California, a lot of those houses in those days were kind of up on stilts, you remember? And, um, and that's the way this three three-story apartment house was. So I took an all-American football player with me. <laughs> that was a mistake. Because when we got to the house, nobody could get under there but me. And he was too big. He was just about the same build as Bart. And he said, I'd like to do it, Cleon, but uh, you know, I, I'm, if I got in, I couldn't get out. So here's the microphone. And here's the rubber hammer, and here are the taps. Well, we came in through the back end. We don't have any credentials. Uh, our clothes are like we were ordinary, you know, utilities workers or something. So anyway, I, I start in. I hear them up above my head. I'm putting the little tacks in, stretch the wire, put a little tack in. I get right under them. And they're all in the room laughing and talking, a boisterous bunch of people. And all of a sudden, I heard a woman say, shh. And boy, it went very quiet. I, oh. I mean, these guys are killers. Um, <laughs> I just held the hammer. <laughs> well, I'm not pounding any text for a minute. And all of a sudden, the bugles blew. You got a fanfare, and a voice came on the radio and said, the FBI, in peace and war. She wanted them to listen to her favorite program. <laughs> uh, so the program went on. Here's the FBI, in peace and war, up there on her radio, and I'm down underneath here. <laughs> Pounding tax. But I got a real shot of adrenaline that day. And pretty soon we crawled back out and the wires were strung down the way so we could record what these killers were planning to do. Good old Mickey Cohen. And Bugsy Siegel was murdered shortly after that time. And uh, it was that kind of, an, of a climate. Um, in some ways a little more exciting than you see on TV when you're involved and underneath the house pounding the nails. <laughs>